And day nine of in-person early voting starts in less than an hour, and already more than half a million people in Miami-Dade and Broward have cast their ballots. Yesterday, nearly 26,000 people voted in Broward, and that number was about 10,000 higher in Miami-Dade, where just over 36,000 voters cast their ballots in person. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from Bayfront Park with more on this record turnout and what's happening there today. Brooke, good morning. Hey ladies, good morning. Ivanka Trump will be here at Bayfront Park later today. She has a campaign event on behalf of her father around 5.30 tonight. The fight for South Florida still far from over as already hundreds of thousands of people have voted. After just one week, early voters in Miami-Dade are already hitting record numbers. Voter turnout, of course, only expected to go up as we inch closer to Election Day. A typical presidential election in Miami-Dade County is somewhere between 70 and 72 percent. We've project, been projecting that the turnout will be higher, probably somewhere around 80. Right now, we're actually at the same pace as previous elections. Never vote earlier. I always vote on the date. For the first time since becoming an American citizen 30 years ago, Christina Correa voted early and in person. This is the most important election that so you define what uh, America will be after this election. Like some of the other first time early voters we spoke with, coronavirus concerns is just one of the reasons they're voting now. It's partly the pandemic and it, because of what's going on with Florida, I wanted to make sure my vote got counted. In Broward County, between in-person and mail-in, 580,000 ballots have been cast early. Some voters there are feeling the push to get to the polls, with less than a week left of early in-person voting. It's been something like we've never seen before, for sure, but uh, I guess a lot more people are going to vote this time than in my lifetime. My suggestion is the sooner you go, the better off that you're going to be. The lines um, tend to get heavier with each passing day. So the Trump campaign making another stop in Miami today. Again, Ivanka Trump holding an event here at Bayfront Park later this afternoon. Meanwhile, Joe Biden plans to hold events in South Florida in Broward County on Thursday. And former President Barack Obama, after his stop in South Florida this weekend, also making a return to Florida. He'll be stopping in Orlando today. I'm live in downtown Miami. Brooke Schaefer, CBS 4, this morning.